Welcome to a touch of paradise. Well, it's been a great year for me. I've traveled the planet, met a few odd people. I've had a fantastic time. So how about you put your feet up, grab a cuppa, share it with me. I Should Be So Lucky was just that. It set my career alight, reached number one in 12 countries and enabled me to be the first artist to ever hold simultaneous number ones in Australia and Britain. I Should Be So Lucky? You bet. best rumours would be about I Should Be So Lucky, prime example in fact. The press uh, printed that it was actually Rick Astley that sang the song because when you play the single on 33, uh, I've heard it, it does sound a little bit like him. But what they don't know, I've been keeping this fairly quiet, well, I sing all of Rick Astley's songs, I've got it round the wrong way, I don't know what's the matter with them. <laughs> I think that just goes to show that some people don't have a clue what goes into making television. I'm sure they've never been in a position like this where they can actually see what's going on. Um, as for Neighbours, it's never pretended to be Gone with the Wind or Mona Lisa. It's television and better than that, it's popular television. I think millions of people around the world can't be wrong. 
As for me, uh, I've only got one skin. It has to be quite thick at times. <laughs> and, uh, well, I can take control of your set, though, believe you me. I command you to watch this video. Do -do 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 -do. How long will it last? Who knows? There's still tons of things I want to do. And this is the sort of place I would love to have. It's got things like scented draw liners, essential oils, uh, country gardening books, procurees, all sorts of knickknacks. In fact, I never have time for shopping, so I might just have a look. I also want to continue acting, especially in theatre and film. I've been acting since I was 12 years old. And I can remember the first time I had to cry on screen. I was really nervous, but found out I could do it. The scene worked out really well. Now I can get to those emotional moments and can express them. What's the matter? Everything. Just leave me alone, please. There you go. What's wrong? I'd love a bomb to drop on the house. I hate the wheels so much. Is that all? I hope you make the bomb. The cleanest wheeler dropped a hundred dollars a day. And me, like an idiot, gave it back. Then she accused me of stealing it. That'd be right. It's worse. Just because I made her hair green, she wants to sue us and take Dad's boat away. What? Poor Dad's trying not to panic. But I can tell he's cracking up. It's awful and it's all my fault. Her hair's going to be a case, isn't it? Of course it is. But she won't be happy till she's rubbed my nose in it. Why? I said I was sorry. I dragged Dad into it. 
Is there anything I can do? No. I wish her hair had fallen out. Hey. <laughs> I feel there's still a lot of acting inside of me. It was great fun to find out that I enjoyed comedy when I did a sketch which took me back to my good old school days. Best friend, because I'm, guess what? She knew him at Paul and Oh, man, Oh, that'd be so much like Imagine nearly meeting her. I'd just die if I met her. Oh, it would be so excellent, so excellent. If I met her, if I nearly met her, I would just go, ah! I'd just go, oh! So excellent, but I reckon you're so lucky, because guess what? I reckon you nearly look like her. Oh, boy, you do. No, boy, you do. I reckon you look nearly the same, like, except, like, your eyes are really smaller and you're not as good looking. She's much better looking. Oh, quick! Is that Mum? Shh! Hide everything, hide everything. Turn the light off. Quick! Shh! 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 She got it. Because when she comes in, she goes, she goes. She just goes. <laughs> This is my sentimental favourite. It was released in Australia as my first single in May of 1987. It was a song that got the ball rolling and now, well, everybody's doing it. The locomotion, the locomotion. There's not much of it, but when I do have free time, this is the place to be. It's my favourite coffee shop, and Sula here makes the best cappuccino in the whole Thank wide you. world. Now, Sula, while you're here, there's a few million people out there. You could have a big promotion for your shop. Thank Go! You. Thank you. <laughs> She's too shy. But anyway, this is the place to be. They make the best cappuccino, and Sula makes me sit down, relax, and enjoy my time off. 
I love to walk along the beach in bare feet, listening to the waves talk, or just enjoy the solitude with a good book. For me, that's a real day off. I also love making my own clothes. It's nice to have something unique. And you can say you made it yourself. Are you sure you are in the right place? So easy to be confusing. <laughs> it's probably my fault. Wrong day, wrong date. If a man is in birds, do not be so sure. But good luck. Merci. means I don't know why in French. But there's one thing I do know about, and that's my hometown. Let me introduce you to Melbourne. This is where it all started for me. It's a pretty long way from almost everywhere. Seems as though it's quite close to the Antarctica at times though. It's a big city, has about three million people. 
but it also has the charm of a small country town. It's a great place to grow up in. Melbourne is the home of Australian Rules Football, Day Medna Reveridge, Trams, Fairy Penguins and the biggest horse race in the world. And some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Maybe I'll see you there. It's a lot of hard work making videos, but it's also a lot of fun. what it's all about, isn't it? See you soon. I'll get there. <laughs> I learnt piano when I was a kid and unfortunately never continued with it, but um, I'm practising and as I say I'll get there. I hope so, because music is very important to me, as I'm sure it is to you. And uh, fortunately I've been able to be involved with music over the last couple of years. It's a very exciting and ever-changing industry and uh, I hope to learn more about it as I get older, learn more about writing, producing and generally more about the whole music industry. It's very interesting to say the least. So while I get back to piano lessons, I'll leave you with this. See what he's up to.
Hand on Your Heart is about honesty and communication and the girl is in a fantastic relationship and she doesn't want to believe it's over until this guy puts his hand on his heart and says that it's over until he really means it. She's not going to accept some flimsy excuse. So when I was in Japan during my live concerts I managed to get various Japanese people and English people when I was in England putting their hand on their heart during the routine and this is what it turned out like. This is a special mix from the concert show taped for you. Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's all over. There's a girl and the guy she really likes doesn't ask her to the dance. She's broken hearted. I mean, you know, and parents say, oh, well, don't worry, dear. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. But, for you know, for kids, that's so important in their life. And through songs, it's, it's like it's written especially for them because they're saying, that's what I've been trying to say. Why doesn't anyone understand? And it's all here in the song. Great. And, you know, I think... Being a dance song makes it particularly appropriate.
if you've got it in you, it comes very easily and learning a routine is no problem. I mean, I know a lot of people have a lot of difficulty dancing and find it, they just don't move the way they're trying to get their arms to move. But, but I find it comes quite easy and I enjoy it so much that hopefully that comes across. Most of what Stock Aitken Waterman write is easy to relate to and I have the same idea that they do is that I don't want to go preaching to people. Perhaps in a few years time if there's something I want to say then I have the, a great medium in which to say it. You know, I can say it through song. The album is called Enjoy Yourself. That's the motto I'm trying to live by, you know. We all have our problems, we all wish that we weren't here sometimes but it's best to make the make light of whatever situation you're in and just enjoy it. a little more time practicing. In the meantime, what can I say? It's been a fantastic year. I've done things I never dreamt I would be doing. I've traveled the world. I've met some amazing people. I've done my first live performances, Japan, England, Hong Kong. Um, my debut movie's been released, The Delinquents. So what can I say but thank you for all of your support. And uh, well, if it wasn't for all of you out there, I wouldn't be sitting here now thinking that I'm Mozart with my French leaves, no? But um, 
Yeah, thank you very much, and I mean that. And in the meantime, enjoy. Look out for what's coming up next. I guess I'll be doing more movies, more music, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Why can't you see?